Okay, good morning YouTube. Welcome back to Vinnie's Vittles. Today we're going to be making my Aunt Anne's date nut balls. These things are incredible. They've been in our family for a long, long time. As a matter of fact, some of my aunt's church friends taught her how to make these back in the 1960s. So that just tells you we've been eating date nut balls for a few years at Christmas time. So we're going to show you how to make these today and they're going to be fantastic and I know you're going to enjoy them. So let me start out by telling you what is in the date nut balls and how we'll make them, okay? Here we go. Now all you need to make these date nut balls are a cup of sugar, one cup of finely chopped pecans, one stick of butter, or if you don't have the sticks, you can use a half a cup. That's how it converts out. Then you're going to need two cups of Rice Krispies and two cups of finely chopped dates. And once we blend all that together, we're going to roll them in powdered sugar. So we'll show you how to do that as we go along. But that's all you need to make these. So it's a pretty simple recipe and we'll show you how to put it together in just a second. Now we're going to start out by melting the butter. So you just want to put that in your saucepan. Now I'm using a pretty good sized pan because just like when you make Rice Krispie treats, you know you need to have some room to kind of blend it all together. And the same thing is going to apply here. So I'm using a pretty good sized saucepan. Uh, but you can use, you know, whatever size you think works best for you. So all we're going to do now is melt the butter. And as the butter is melting, we'll add the sugar to it and then just kind of blend it together so that it mixes together nice and, you know, pretty good. Um, you want to make sure, again, that you mix it well enough so that the granules begin to dissolve so you don't want it to be all lumpy and crunchy. So just make sure you blend it together real good. Okay, so now we've melted our butter. Now all we're going to do is add the cup of sugar and then we're going to continue to blend that together just till it's nice and dissolved. Now I've just continued to stir this till the sugar and the butter are all dissolved together and it looks like it's pretty close to being that way. Now that we've got it pretty much dissolved, we're going to add the two cups of dates. And remember, I chopped these up pretty good so they wouldn't be too lumpy or anything. But you're just going to add them in and you're going to continue to stir on low heat for about six or seven minutes. So just nice and easy because you don't want it to stick. So I'm going to go ahead and add the dates now. And we're going to continue to stir. You don't want to overdo it, but you don't want it to stick either. So just nice and gentle, six or seven minutes. Okay, so it's been about six or seven minutes since we've been kind of blending this all together. So we're going to go ahead and add the cup of uh, finely chopped pecans. And we're just going to blend that together now. All right, so now we're going to add the two cups of Rice Krispies. And I'm telling you, as soon as you put these in, you've got to start blending it together. Okay, so I got this mixed together pretty good. Now my aunt gave me one tip, and that tip was let it cool. She says that she's not a patient person and that she just goes ahead and starts rolling them into balls and blisters her hand every time she makes them. So she said to make sure that I let it cool a little bit before I start rolling them. Now you don't want to let it get completely cold. You need to still make it where they're uh, pliable. So you want to make sure they're still a little warm when you start mixing it and, uh, you know, you might want to wear a glove or something if you think you need to to keep your hands from getting burned. But she's been making them for 50 years, so she's still got good hands, so I reckon she's all right. Okay, so we've just about got them all mixed up and rolled into little balls. Uh, we did find that it was much easier to do with a spoon. That one's pretty big. It kind of helps you get the shape that you need right off the bat. Because this is some pretty sticky stuff. I might need a little bit more sheet here to put them on, but we'll make it work. Now, I want to point out this. It's kind of late at night here. And uh, I probably, I ran out of stick butter. So I used margarine instead. Uh, I think if it was me, I would make sure I used the stick butter. I think maybe it'll just... Uh, hold things together a little bit better than the margarine. But, I mean, it still looks pretty good and I think they're gonna be delish. As far as I can tell, the ones that Maymay keeps licking her lips on seem to be pretty good. 
You're not supposed to tell that I've snuck so. Well, you got to have a little sample here and there. Mmm, good. All right, so the only step that we've got left to do is roll them in the powdered sugar, and then they'll be ready to go. I must tell you, I have got these rolled out, and I had one little bitty ugly one that I just had to eat myself, and, and my man's right. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. they're, they're really good. So the last step is to uh, roll each one in the powdered sugar. Now, the batch that we made made about, I don't know, 40, 45, and they're not all the same size because I, you know, didn't try to make them perfect. But um, if you made them a little smaller, you could probably get four dozen out of that out of that recipe. So you can just kind of go from there. But now all you want to do is just drop them in the powdered sugar, just kind of roll them around in it. As you can see, we've already started rolling these in the powdered sugar. And one thing I did discover in this process is once you roll them in the powdered sugar. It's a lot easier to shape them into a ball. It was a little difficult to do it and get, you know, an actual ball when they were so sticky, they kept sticking to your hand and everything. But once they go in this powdered sugar and it kind of grabs up all the sticky and you can just kind of shape it in your hand, not too much trouble. Now, these bad boys will hold a lot of powdered sugar, so you want to be careful you don't want an abundance of powdered sugar, obviously. Well, I don't know, you might. But um, just a light, nice light coat, I think really works better. So, uh, but as you can see, it's much easier to get them in the shape of a ball once they've got the powdered sugar on them. Well, there you go. That's the finished product. My Ain't Ann's Date Nut Balls. And they look amazing. Now, so far, every week, we've had a guest uh, taste tester. This week, that's going to be May May. But it is late at night, and May May already has her pajamas on. So she's not going to be on camera, but you will be able to hear her go, Mmm, these are good. Maybe. <laughs> no doubt about it. No I want to be honest. It. Hey, listen, I want to take a minute to just say thank you to you guys. You guys have been so supportive over the last few weeks as we've been doing this on May May's channel every week. Uh, we got one more week here on May May Made It on Saturday mornings, but you guys have been so kind and so positive about everything that we've been doing with the uh, through the channel, through these cooking things. We've decided to extend that out. So we're going to start a Vinny's Vittle YouTube channel. And as a matter of fact, it's already up. Some of the recipes that we've been doing this over the last few weeks are already there. The uh, buffalo chicken dip from back a long time ago is there. Some of the Vinny Vittles are also up so you can already go over and check that out. Mame will put the link down at the bottom where you can go over and and subscribe and join up and I hope you guys will love it enjoy it. We're going to still do something once a week uh, just some of our family favorites and you'll get to be a part of those things every week so we look forward to doing that with you. Uh, be sure to comment let me know what you think about the recipe and you're going to enjoy them I know but now it's time for us to taste them. So uh, how are you going to do this, Mamey? I don't know how I'm going to do it. You taste it first. I'm going to just get one, and you can just be jealous. I might just be jealous. Oh, God, I can't wait. You ready? Yes. Oh, God, those are so good. Oh, yeah. That's hitting the nail right on the head. You're going to love these. Go up home, make them. I'm going to pick you out a little bit. It's one. hard to do with the camera. I'm shaking. Okay, sorry, guys. Oh, heavenly God. Those take me back, too. Hey, you guys let me know if you've ever had these before. <laughs> Sorry. Let me know if you've ever had them before. These are things some people we've talked about haven't had these in years. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had them, if you've tried them. I can't wait to hear your comments and see your results for what you think about it. Have a great week. Merry Christmas.